welcome to Move with Melinda. This is our six part fitness series called Motion is the Potion. I hope you've been following along. We are in our fifth week and today we're going to be doing some strength resistance training, some stretching and a little bit of core work. Now, I don't know how you've done last week. Did you have a chance to do the aerobic exercise? In either case, after today's workout, do it a couple times, three times a week. By next week, you're gonna be raring to go when we get back into that cardio portion. And if you're new to this fitness series, that's okay. Um, get some light hand weights, moderate hand weights that you can trigger some muscle groups in our body today. And that's gonna help us get stronger, protect our bones, give us good posture, and hopefully live a lot healthier, longer life. All right, with that said, we're just gonna get warm. I always like to do a little march and running arms. We're just gonna get the body warm, and then we're gonna start from, from our bottom up. That's it. All right, out and in, let's go. You can move those hips too. Yeah. All right, let's go, biceps. Just swing the arms. We're gonna be doing our biceps, some calves, quads, yeah, you name it, we're gonna do it. <laughs> All right, stepping in and out. Swing the arms, good. Come on, up, up. Leave one down and swing the other one up. Good. Eight. Go. Oh yeah, go, ha, seven. Four. Tapping in and out and just swinging those arms up. Okay, now, on the spot. I like to open up that back. We're gonna do some back, some chest today. So again, use maybe what you have in the home. If you don't even have any hand weight, it's always a good investment. Use something that you can grip firmly, okay? That's the one stipulation. Up, up, up. So I'm lifting up that heel as I'm punching from the side, okay? Yeah. Give you a good rotation and fill that through the stomach. All right, come on in. Forward lunge. Down, up, down, up. You don't have to go too far. Down and up. Down and up. Good. One more. Wide and squat. Let's go. Down and up. Down and up. You can squeeze those hands in front. Feel your chest muscles. This will help you ignite the chest muscles and your booty should be ignited too. Come on up, step in. Forward, lunge, and back. Good. Just waking up those muscles. Up, down, good. Two more. Last one, good. Come back into that beautiful squat posture. Up, down. And squeeze. A little bit more warming up to do, okay? Four, three, two. We're going back to marches. In and out. Come on. Running arms. Oh, I'm on my tippy toes. Okay, ignite those calf muscles. Let's go. Down. This is my favorite move for a warm up. Get my whole body. <laughs> Remember, ignite and hold in that tummy. Heart rate up, I think our muscles are pretty warm. One more bicep, march, come on. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we are ready to start. March out, three out. Okay, so get some weights that will challenge you. We're gonna work on our lower half to begin. We're gonna go right into some squatting, all right? So I'm gonna get some weights. And we're gonna start with our big muscle movers again. Weights forward, and you're pointing your toes outward, and then coming down. All right, so we wanna do about eight to 12 repetitions. Today we're gonna do 12, 10, up, nine. Your weights in your heels, eight. Keep your chest on now, keep it up. Drop and bend at the knees, six, five, good, good, good. Three. You know I love to pulse. If you don't know, you know now. Keep it down. 
pulse it. Wiggle those toes. Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We got another round, okay? Two and 12. Let's go up and down. Up. You can also keep those hands up here if you like. This will also help keep your chest up. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. We're going back to pulses, down and up. And stay down. Let's go. Pulse it. Pulse it. Pulse it. Yes. Build it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, excellent. Come on up now. All right, we're gonna go into a forward lunge. So you can change your waist if you like to. I'm gonna step forward and down, up, step back. Down, up, and push back. Down, up, push back. So the extra weight at my side is really adding more load onto those muscles, right? Hopefully tearing them up a little bit to build them up even stronger. Three more, good. Balance and core, two. Last one, stay down and give me that pulse. Yes, pulse it, pulse it. Eight, ooh, you feel that left quad burn. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Up we go, up. Again, oh, two is a magic number today. <laughs> Eight, seven, push back, nice and tall. Six, up, come back to that center. Four, good, shoulders down. Two more. Good. Don't rush it now. Last one, up and down, and pulse it for me, please. The right leg is forward, we didn't change that leg yet. All right, good. 10, 9, 8, 7, burn here, yes, yeah. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and up, excellent, before we go to that other leg, we're going to put the weight forward, and we're going to do some calf raises, so hip hinge back, knee bent, and up, and down, so we're lifting those heels to work on those calves, okay? Up, now if you want to start off without weight, do so. Okay. Working out at home recently, I don't know, for a while now, I don't have these kind of weights, machine weights to do these. So I find your body weight is sufficient, and if you need extra load, just put something in your hand, right? Ooh, build it up. Looking good in high heels, my little platform. Two, one more. Excellent, come on up, left is it. So, forward lunge, ready, step, down, up, and back, good. Down, up, and push back with that heel. Down, up, push back, again. Six, up, and drive. Five, up, halfway, and push, good. Three more, let's go. Up. Last one, come on. Up and down and pulse. Let's go. Push it, push it. Feeling that right quad right there, you know it. Take the pressure off the joints by pushing a little bit forward with those hips. Five, four, three, two, and up we go. One more round to finish this off. Step, down, up, push back. Seven, down, up, push back. Six, up, and drive it back. Five, down, up, good, four more. Down, boom, up, yes. Three, who's working up the sweat? <laughs> You don't have to always be running around to work up a sweat. Strength training really does it for you, and it's so important in our lives. Down, pulse it, pulse it, come on. Almost done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. Come on up. Shake that out. Get your water if you need it. Wipe it down. We're going to do one more round of calves. All right, and then we're going to move on. Ready? Up. So get down and up. Lift those heels. Good. Balance. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Good stuff. Three. Three. Two. Great stuff. All right, I'm going to put these weights down. I'm going to change up just a little bit now because I want to work more on my back and uh, my chest. So get some weights that will work for you. What I want to do is bend at the knees, have the head uh, forward, narrow, turn the weight round, and then high elbows. I keep it very traditional. If it's working, you keep, with, you keep with the same routine, right? Come on. You can always change up the weight amount. <laughs> All right, come on. Eight. Looking down and forward. Good. Some compound moves, right? Six. Come on. Turn. Five. High. Tight. And strong. Two more. Beautiful. All right, now go wide. We're going to add this in. Thumbs on my weight. I'm going to go down and open. Down, bend at the knees, open. We do this a lot in my aerobic routine. So if you can try to do eight of these with heavier weights, it's definitely going to help you in the aerobic routine. Three, two, we're going back to the back. Ah, come on up. All right, again, set yourself up. Bend at the knees. Weight down. Here we go. Tight row. In. Turn. Up. High. Feel that right behind the neck. Come on. Six more, guys. Six. Five. Up, up. Really squeeze it now. Three more. Good stuff. Keep that neck aligned. Two more to finish here. Ooh, I'm feeling that. And one. Great. Let's put these down. We're going to go to biceps. So if this weight is good for you for biceps, by all means, keep it. If not, get some weight that you're going to work those bicep muscles. All right. Here we go. Standing hip width apart. Take a little breather. And this time I want your palms to be at the side of your legs, okay? Standing just about hip width apart. Elbows in and meet those shoulders and then come down. 12 it is. Let's go. 11, 10, 9, 8 more, 7, squeeze it, pump it. Now, four, come on. We're gonna do some triceps. I haven't forgot about those. Two and one. All right, now if you can lift up. Traditional, right? Over the head, bend at the elbow. 12, 11, feel that back of the arm. It's facing you. You can see it as I extend my arm. Six more, four, three, Biceps it is. Come down. Now we're going to do one arm at a time. We're going to alternate. All right. So one, two. Here we go. Boom. Boom. 11. 10. 9. Good stuff. 8. 7. Burn that fat away. Goodbye. 5. 4. Steady on the ground. 2. All right, good, last one. Beautiful. How was your biceps? Wow. Beautiful arms, right? Yeah. All right, last one. 12, down. Bend it. Squeeze it. 11. Come on. 10. 8. Yes. 
seven, six, five. So efficient to do these exercises. You know, you, everyone has 15 minutes a day. We can make 15 minutes a day. One, more, good, excellent. Drop one weight, core time. All right, we're just gonna use the weight for this portion of the core and then we'll drop it, okay? Point those toes. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing back those elbows, that waist going across my belly, shredding away any fat that's there, okay? Keep those knees steady. Go. Go. Shoulders back. I love this move. Come on, 30 seconds, let's go. Got my eye on the clock. I do a lot of these in my virtual classes live now. Everyone's welcome to join me. Just reach out to me, move with Melinda. 15. All right, bring it down, beautiful. All right, we're gonna put down the weights now, but we're not gonna leave our belly far behind. Well, actually, I wanna leave that belly far behind. We have to work the muscles, but if you are targeting, um, you know, stomach weight, uh, belly weight, cardio is very important to get rid of that also. We can build that muscle in there and that also burns fat and, and things like that. But we also have to increase our cardio. I know, right? All right, let's start like this. Put your hands right there, right behind your neck, nice and tall. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is side bends. I'm gonna work on my obliques. So down and up, down and up. So my feet are planted on the ground. I'm just squeezing at the side, trying to make sure I'm aligned, going to the side of my leg, not forward and not back. And in time, you'll get deeper. Three, two, and one. Looks like an easy move, but you know what? It really isn't. Let's do the other side. Ah, now make sure nothing's hurting, you're not going too far out. I don't want any pressure on your back. Seven. Keep those elbows wide. Six, five, four, good stuff. Three, two, and one, good. Now we're gonna come back to that, but first now we're gonna work right here in, in, in on the belly in the front. So we're gonna stand on one leg, lift, kick, up and down, up, kick, and back. I've done some of these in my slower movement classes, uh, flow movements, five. So you really gotta keep those hips forward, brace in the belly, and work it. Two more, good, one more. Excellent, all right, let's do the other one. Breathe, lift, kick, up. So important to keep steady, right? If you lean forward, you're taking that load off the belly. Come on, nice and tall. Good. Six. Feel that butt, right? Five. If you need something to hold on to, by all means, get a chair, stand by a wall. Three. Don't lock the knee as you kick. Okay, two more. Two. And one. Good. All right, we're going back to the side. Benders. Okay. Wide elbows, here we go. 12, 11, 10, eight more, eight, six more. Pick up that speed, five, crunch it, four. I like these kind of side benders. They're the only side benders I like. <laughs> one, other side, 12. Now you might find that one side's a little bit tighter than the other, which happens. 11, 10, nine, eight, keep it going, six, doing well. Four more, three, two, and one. Excellent, one more front kick for us, let's do it. Start on your left, please lift, kick up. If you wanna bring up your arms for an added progression, please do so. 
six. Up, down, up, four, three, two. You know what comes after this? Some stretching, isn't that fun? And one, because our muscles are mighty warm. So plant your foot on the right, lift, kick up and down. Seven, six, five, four more. Hold on now. Three, two, last one. Excellent, beautiful. All right, let's do some stretching, some flexibility. Our muscles are warm, so this is the prime time to do it. All right, first, just let those arms go. Beautiful. All right, so standing on the spot, bringing that arm towards you and stretching towards you. Good, hold it, don't let it go. Feels good. I always say victory at the end of any workout. And up and back. So the strength training is really going to help you progress in any of your goals. It's, it is a must in today's living. Uh, our body needs it. We need resistance training. So please, if you can incorporate that into your routine during the week, you'll be thankful you did. Okay, hold it. This will be the tricep stretch. I would say, pat yourself on the back. All right, hold it, hold it. Don't go. All right, drop those arms. So let's point the toes and also this toe. So we're going to face the right and we're going to go down and stretch. And I have my heel on the ground. I'm also stretching that calf, okay? Beautiful. Coming back, straightening out the right leg, glute. A little bit of the spine stretch, stretch there. Again, I'm going to bend that front knee, keeping my heel locked down. So if you need to move that foot up, do so. Ah, stretch, and then push those shoulders up, up and out, like you're reaching for something. Was it apple pie for Thanksgiving, or is it pumpkin pie? Okay, let's go. The healthy version. Reach it. Good, and down. We all have to have some treats sometimes, right? Okay. So come forward. Excellent. Now again, I always love doing my hamstrings. Very important for me and for everyone in their, in their legs. When they're tight, oh, it's a disaster. Okay. So lock the knees, straight spine, and let's just hold that for a bit. Looking down and forward, you know, always watching your neck is, is great following the spine. Good. Ah, breathe, let's go the other way. Again, let's lock in our, our feet. Again, you find your, your range of motion. You're gonna bend that left knee, and then again, you're gonna just bend, and you're gonna reach for it. Reach your goals. Weight loss, getting stronger, feeling happier. Whatever it is, it's in reach. Don't give up, I always say. All right, good. Bad heels down, good. Now come back. And just lean back just a bit. Good. One more time for me. And reach for it. Yes. How far can you go? All the way. Good. All right. Coming forward again. One more hamstring. Good. Yeah. Got a couple more stretches for you. Oh, it feels so good. Okay. This time, unlock. Roll up. Two and one. Now we're going to try something. We're going to put our right foot forward and we're going to come down low to the ground and we're going to extend that left leg, okay? And then I'm going to put my two hands beside my right leg and I'm just going to go as low as I can and just stretch the hip flexors behind the inside of the leg. Enjoy it and hold it. Okay? And then you'll see in time you'll probably get deeper and deeper. 
feels so good. All right, now come up slowly, stepping into it, rolling up, breathing. We're gonna do the other leg, okay? So again, we're gonna step the left, and then slowly we're gonna bring back the right, and we push down those hips, and then come over your leg, and just hold it. Looking down always, feel the stretch, enjoy it. Get in tune and connect to the body. Less risk of injury if we stretch on a regular basis. Um, the blood flows. A lot of benefits of stretching and, and flexibility. Okay, hold it a little bit longer. Breathe, good, all right. And then come up slowly, roll up. Shoulder rolls, come on, this is so great. All the way up, three. All right, I'm gonna do a spine stretch. And that's, we're almost done. All right, hips forward, put your hands and push forward. Drop your neck, you guys and girls. Thank you so much for coming and watching Move With Melinda. Next week's episode is our six part of the six part fitness series. We will see you next week. Keep fit, stay healthy, and move with Melinda. Yeah. Stretch it, hips forward, elbows back, drop the neck.